I love to be alone, but I didn't always accept this part of myself. Sometimes I felt lonely because I thought I needed people around me. I thought the silence had to be broken by the conviviality of another person. Don't get me wrong, I really appreciate coziness. To go out for dinner, visiting our families, go out for lunch with a friend. But I prefer to be alone with birds chirping and sound of rippling water. Then I can give my thoughts space and it feels like peace arises in me. I'm not lonely, not at all. Because I'm home with the children every day, there are plenty of stimuli. That makes me crave a long time more than company. I needed to recharge myself and then be a great mom again. When my oldest child was a baby, I often felt lonely. But now I have three children, so there are plenty of conversations to have and fun during the day. Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. I'm here in the forest, it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful day and yeah, I'm enjoying it so much. Um, this is the first time that I walk all by myself and to enjoy the nature. Um, most of the time I'm with my kids, with my children and when I'm walk in the forest, I'm with my husband and children. It's nice to go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather and the beautiful nature here in the Netherlands. So I thought I have to go. So I'm here and it's, I think, five degrees here outside. And I thought it will be cold. So I have this and um, I have warm shoes, but it's a little bit warm. There are many ways to spend my alone time. I can intensely enjoy the silence in nature. I also appreciate reading a book, but I can also enjoy by staring straight ahead and not having to talk for a while. Be alone for a while and not having to put energy into someone else, just myself and my thoughts. If I have allowed myself enough time alone, then I can also be the fun mother and wife I want to be. Then my head is empty enough to handle the stimuli of everyday life again.
I can enjoy the time with my children and I get so much joy and love back from them.